Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So are you guys tired of those pesky stretch marks that just don't go away? Like you, I grew stretch marks and I literally hated them. And I tried everything that I could do to get rid of them. I grew stretch marks in high school and I gained my stretch marks on my hips. I don't have a million dollars to get rid of stretch marks using laser treatment. So that's why I'm gonna give you guys five ways to get rid of your stretch marks naturally at home. Some of these ways I used myself to get rid of my stretch marks. It's not gonna go away overnight, but making sure that you are consistent daily or twice a day will definitely help you get rid of your stretch marks. For me, it took a couple of months to get rid of mine, so everybody is gonna be different depending on how deep your stretch marks are. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna actually reveal the number one tip to getting rid of those stretch marks and keeping them away. So if you wanna know more about how to get rid of those stretch marks that you literally can't stand, then stay tuned. So stretch marks form when we either gain too much weight rapidly and we're actually losing weight and I've actually referenced that in my last stretch mark video so I'm just gonna go straight into the tips because I know you guys want to hear what I have to say uh, tip number one castor oil so I know you guys are thinking why am I gonna be using castor oil on my stretch marks my castor oil is really amazing because it's actually used a lot to treat skin diseases and it actually has a skin conditioning agent in it that actually helps you know fasten the healing process of your skin after you get stretch marks so you want to make sure that you are rubbing the castor oil on your stretch marks whether it's your arms your hips your butt, wherever it is, you wanna make sure that you're rubbing the castor on your stretch marks for about five to 10 minutes. Also good to pat it in so it's really penetrating into your skin or rub gently, like really massage. Don't rub house your skin because you're just not gonna get anywhere with that. So after you're done massaging, you're gonna to wanna to take a cloth to lay on your area because you want to use heat to help penetrate the oil into your skin. Um, they advise online that you can use hot water bottles to put on your skin, but I actually don't think that's the best method because I've actually had experiences with burning myself with a hot water bottle. So I don't want to suggest that. What I like to do is just get a wash rag or a washcloth, rinse it in really hot water, and then, you know, make sure you don't burn yourself, but, but squeeze out the excess water water and then lay it on the area. Tip number two, vapor rub. Why are you going to be putting vapor rub on your stretch marks? Well, vapor rub actually has essential oils in it, like eucalyptus oil that helps to soften and moisten the, moisten the skin. If you have stretch marks, you want to moisten the skin and soften it up. So after you massage the vapor rub into your skin, you're going to want to take some cling wrap or saran wrap plastic wrap and you're gonna want to wrap that area in the plastic wrap this way you'll be able to sleep with it overnight and it'll really be able to penetrate into your skin have you subscribed yet make sure you subscribe and make sure you give this a thumbs up if you like it so far tip number three olive oil so what's the difference between castor oil and olive oil olive oil has nutrients vitamins antioxidants that actually really really help to make your skin more healthy, make your skin more smooth, soft, glowy, everything. So you definitely wanna use olive oil while you are trying to help repair your skin after a stretch mark damage. Like I said in my other video, if you guys watched, I like to use olive oil and use Serin moisturizing cream. Literally, this is the truth. If you watch any of my videos about skincare, I've probably featured Eucerin in all of my videos. So that leads me to tip number four, Eucerin. So I'm adding this one in right here because I actually like to combine the two and people have actually asked me many questions about it. So from tip number three, which is the olive oil, you wanna really massage that into your skin the same way you're gonna massage everything into your skin. And you can either pat like this or massage really lightly into your skin. Well, olive oil has anti-inflammatory properties, which is really good too. So when you are massaging that into your skin, you wanna do it first. A lot of people ask me in my other video, if I mix it, no, I don't mix the olive oil and the eucerin cream. I like to do the olive oil first, let it really sit and penetrate into my skin, and then I seal it with the eucerin moisturizing cream. This, like I said, is the original healing cream. Using a cream-based product uh, like eucerin that's enriched with the nutrients really helps to really uh, moisturize the skin, like I said multiple times. 
No, it really helps to, you know, revamp the skin. And it's, I also have this in my Amazon store and actually most of the products that I'm talking about are on my Amazon store like account page. So I'll link that below so you can go directly to that store. Definitely buy this with caution because if your skin is prone to acne like other places in your face, then this might not work for you. Tip number five, coffee scrub. So I've actually used coffee scrub before for my face to get rid of the under eye bags and dark circles, but you can actually use coffee scrub to uh, get rid of your stretch marks. I actually haven't used this one before, but I actually researched it and it seems like a real viable way of helping reduce the appearance of your stretch marks. But so what coffee grounds do is stimulate the blood flow and circulation and then it helps with the regeneration process of your skin. So you could use coconut oil or olive oil to mix into the coffee grounds. So you wanna take um, equal parts, a half coffee, coffee grounds and half coconut oil or olive oil and you want to mix it up to make yourself a scrub and then after that you want to rub it on the area and allow the circulation and blood flow to begin and you can leave this on for about 10 to 20 minutes after that you want to take a damp washcloth that's not abrasive, not hard, and you just wanna gently wipe that area. You could do this once a day and you'll start seeing results in about a couple of months. So I actually didn't mention this one, but actually another thing that you can mix into your coffee scrub is aloe vera. Aloe vera is amazing. If you watch my channel, I use aloe vera for everything. It is healed my burns, it has made my skin softer, and that's what we want for the stretch marks. So using aloe vera gel or aloe vera plant is phenomenal for getting rid of your stretch marks and fading the appearance of them. So you can um, put this on alone and leave it on overnight, or you can mix it with your coffee grounds to make a coffee scrub. So if you don't wanna make your DIY coffee scrub, there is an alternative method. This scrub that I'm linking right here is actually really, really popular on Amazon. So I'll also link that below and add it to my Amazon store if you wanna check that out. And this is not sponsored. This is just me doing my research to tell you guys what I have found. So this one looks like it's a great product for cellulite, stretch marks, and all that good stuff. Is it good stuff? I don't know. So that was actually a bonus one. Uh, ultimately, the number number one thing you want to do for your stretch mark is to moisturize it. You want to moisturize the heck out of your stretch marks. So yes, keep the area moisturized, make the area soft. It has helped me so much with my stretch marks. I had really dark, deep stretch marks at one point, and now my stretch marks are pretty much gone. So I have all of those tips to thank for it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and like it and comment below which tip you guys think that you're gonna wanna use. Uh, so if you have any questions, please put it down below and please remember to subscribe. Do it over. Just come a little closer now. We could do it